Good evening everyone, we are live again, just let me prepare the table because today we will be painting all the parts, so it will be a bit different video I would say, I have water so we are covered. But first I have to tune the video stream so that I will see what are you writing, if you will be writing something, and then we'll continue. So just give me a second. Okay, I remove the tweezers because definitely we won't need tweezers. We could be red somewhere here. Tweezers can go here. Also, I don't think we will need knife and this, and this, and this, and this. So I remove them as well. And I just need this sharp knife just in case. And let's start the screen. I'll put the cockpit parts meanwhile. Okay. So, first of all, don't forget to switch the quality to the 720p, because otherwise you will be missing a lot. So, today we are going to paint cockpit parts. As you remember, we assembled the cockpit floor. We also covered with primer the fuselage halves here inside, you can see. And what else? I also painted some cockpit parts. We have side panels somewhere here. Here is, for example, the panel for the cockpit. Here is the side panel. Here is another one. Everything is primed. And also we have some cockpit parts here. So we have, for example, those cockpit walls here. And we also have the cockpit combings, which are molded separately. But first of all, I would like to check if something else uh, should be painted with a different color. So just give me a second to understand this thing. As far as you can see, not that much. So we will start with cockpit walls, I guess. Because they're quite thin, but I'll just remove all the sprues aside because first of all we need to clean the airbrush and I just realized that my air compressor is not connected to the socket so I have to connect it because otherwise you won't see <laughs> the action let's say. So just give me a second. I need to move some things around and connect this air compressor here. So do it like this. Now it is connected. And I'm just going to have a sip of water. Okay, uh, so we are going to use this shade, that's a grey-green uh, for the cockpit. As you remember, uh, the seat is not glued here, so I will paint first like this, and then it will be, when it will be barely dry, I will remove the seat and paint the rear so side as well, and here internal elements as well. First, I would like to clean the airbrush, because I did not use it with uh, the thinner from special Ho um, special hobby from the mr hobby so we are going to clean it as far as i remember i did not leave the any thinner there so that's why it is necessary to clean it but first let me again take a sip of water And we will start. I'm using this cover color leveling thinner. It is quite good. 
I would say Mr. Hobby or Mr. Cower guys uh, are going to present interesting stuff on Spielwaren Messe, so definitely uh, it will be interesting to see what it will be. Usually they present some really useful things. So <clears throat> we will see. Okay, so let's start the air compressor. Okay, it seems like needle is stuck. So I'm going to open it to remove the needle. Just give me a second. That's why it's better to leave airbrush with really tiny bit of thinner inside in the cup because otherwise you will have those funny times when you have brush um, the needle stuck inside so as you can see it doesn't work let's give it a bit of time because otherwise it won't work properly what I'm looking at the moment is the assembly process because as you can see we have here the cockpit Obviously, we'll have to install the seat belts before um, everything will be glued together. I was just thinking maybe it is possible somehow to join the cockpit walls before the painting, but as far as you can see, it's not worth it. So that's why we are not going to do it. Even though it would simplify the assembly process because parts would be cleaned, ready to go. But I would rather do it a bit later. So another interesting thing is that this section of the cockpit is a flat black. It's quite surprising, I would say. I wonder why. Let's check the color for the combing for the uh, for the cockpit combing. It should be. Camouflage color and flat black. Hmm. Quite interesting. So basically, we won't have to paint it. And this leaves us with fewer parts to paint. I just wonder what's up with airbrush. It just doesn't work. Hmm. It's just stuck inside. And I'm a bit confused. On why it is stuck. So just give me a second. Because <clears throat> I see that needle is not straight as well, so using this free time we have, I'm going to straight it up a bit in order to have nice straight needle. Obviously, that's not a precise work, but still, it is something to do and something what will have influence on our work. Okay, so it seems more or less cleaned and still. The needle just doesn't work. It 
So I'm going to remove all excess paint to check him. I do it with tweezers. It's just stuck. And what's funny because this paint thinner is quite aggressive and usually it just takes really a few minutes before it starts to work, but not in today's case. Well, at least you are watching, so let's wait a bit. I would do it easier, let's uh, talk about some interesting things, because you might have noticed that um, Facebook page one quite famous kit manufacturers changed its name it's a special hobby if you know what I mean if you don't know what I mean go via old link and you'll see what I'm talking about so the main point is that uh, we should be able to access or to contact this manufacturer via new address uh, they opened the new page, new Facebook page. It's basically whole restart of the Facebook activity of this company. Uh, you can find it by the by searching special hobby, of course. I will post the link on Facebook. Okay, now it works. So I will post the link on the Facebook so that you know how to find these guys because I mean their kids are really nice they prepare some interesting things for the 2019 for the current year so it will be interesting to follow them okay let's switch on There are some paint leftovers, so we need something to put the paint in, or we just spray it somewhere. Let's clean it. Okay. Now it's more or less clean. As you can see, we have some paint leftovers that was holding the part, the needle in place, and that wasn't that nice. So, uh, we again put some tiny bit of paint now, because we don't need to put the <clears throat> Thinner first, in my opinion. So just tiny bit paint, and don't forget to clean it to clean the sides of the bottle, because otherwise you will have the dried paint, and then it will be difficult to open the lid, and that's even bigger problem with Mr. Hobby paints. So just be careful with this stuff. It's better to be safe than just to be trying to open this plastic lid with your own fingers. Now we have a bit of paint. We need to add the thinner so that paint will be flowing. So again, just a tiny bit of thinner. 
as you can see, I'm not using any stuff for measuring the paint. It's purely high work, I would say. As you can see, I also spilled a small amount. That's why I'm doing it on the table, but that's not a problem because we will clean the table. So that's also a nice result. Uh, don't they think about those paints and why I'm recently not that often using them is the smell. The smell is quite noticeable and <laughs> it is quite noticeable. So just be aware of this so that your wife won't kill you because of this nice aroma from the paint. Okay, so we go on. Let's try. Okay, it goes. I'm just going to mix paint a bit so that we have okay. Don't try to cover everything from the first try because I mean for sure it won't be possible and then we will just have the ugly result and that's not what we want. As you can see we have small dots of the paint. This means that we have to add a bit more thinner because paint is quite thick. That's why it doesn't go easily outside. So just bit paint. Now it's more or less liquid. I hope it will work. Mm, let's put it here. Usually the best experience is connected with Mr. Paint colors. I don't know why in my modern experience. So now you can see that it's nice and smooth paint but you have to do this because otherwise you will have some paint on the needle end and then it will go on one of your parts and that's not what we want right so just be careful while doing all those things Now I'm not trying to cover everything from the first try. It's more like a basic coat because then we will just put it aside where wait for it to dry while we will be painting other parts. And then we will come back to this part once again. Okay. Now one more spray over the fork so that we don't have the white plastic. Okay. Give it a second to dry. You can place it here so that you can see it. Next part is this wall. As you remember, it will be installed in the front of the cockpit. Now we go on with 
Cook pitfalls. With walls, I won't be that careful because elements are quite thin. So we can try to apply a bit more paint just to be sure that it stays in place. and from the different side and from the bottom okay, it seems more or less nice put it aside as well actually I have one nice thing here there is a hook on the tripod so I just use it to place to secure the sprue in place so here we paint this area and also where is this panel? It is quite huge, but I'm always missing it. Okay, this part should be painted as well. I guess... This ones are also... This thing have to be painted. What should be painted black? I mean, it won't be difficult to paint it black. But once you realize that you didn't paint something with this paint, it will be a more difficult situation. Because this paint is not that perfect when you try to apply it with, with a brush. So that's why be aware of this fact. Just plan everything in advance. And then you won't have any problems. And the last thing is Fusovich halves. So again with Fusovich halves we don't overdo the finish because this will be basically cockpit balls, so that's why we apply one thin layer. And then I would rather apply once more in order to have everything secure. Okay, here. And also here. Look that I'm applying it from the upside down because it actually helps to build more or less something reminding of the shadows. Obviously it will be um, let's say copied more with help of washes but even like this it should be giving a nice appearance. Put the fuselage halves. Oh, wait a second. We also should paint this area because tailwheel wells. They will also need their own cover layer of the paint. So okay. And now we move back to the cock. So. As you can see my shade is a bit more greenish but I think it won't be a problem because it will be darker in the cockpit first and the second is that I will be using washes which will like noticeably change 
what we see on the parts. If you think it's wrong, just comment. I will be happy to discuss what we think. I was thinking today about getting the Tamiya Spitfire but then I was like no first I finish this project and then I go on with something different I mean because we all know this problem when you get nice shiny kit and then it's so nice that you want to assemble it straight away without any delay it's up and then you end up with more kits on your bench unfinished kits so you have to deal with it somehow and you are set and you don't know what to do etc etc all this is familiar to Madores who are building models for several years already we've been there all together so there is nothing to be ashamed of and in my opinion, that's also experience, so that's not a problematic thing, let's say. So we apply a bit more here. Okay, we put it aside. So as you can see, it's more or less greenish now. I'm just going to apply a bit more paint on the headrest and now you can see the cockpit now we go the same order as before we paint for example this wall and now we paint it thoroughly but at first I'm painting the edges in order to build color on the outer side and then I paint everything inside I have to build up paint on the bottom because I have uh, small spills of the primer and we are just going to cover them with a bit more paint. So one side is ready and now we just turn it over and paint another side here. ready and we stop for a moment why because I would like to take a sip of water and also because I have to take off the this part the sprue where we have cockpit walls so I will paint them like this don't forget to work from all edges because it's easy to forget for example to paint the top and then have a problem I'm not really serious about these cockpit walls because still we will have to cut them off 
so there will be need to repaint this part for sure but at least we get some basic code on where paint should be so like this and like this Also tiny bit here. And also from the top. Okay. <coughs> Paint this part. Paint this part. This part from the other side as well, and then we paint also these parts. Okay. Leave it to try. Now I would like to do one thing is the tail wheel wells because as you remember we assembled two parts together and I would like actually to glue those parts into one of the fuselage halves for example here. Why? Because I mean anyway we'll have to do it and also we can paint this part when it will be in place so it is like this and I just need extra thin glue I apply it here 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 and again another portion of the thin glue the brush and now we just press it a bit so as you can see nice finish and now we continue with cockpit painting wheel wheels okay. and now we do remove the Cockpit seat. I hope it's not too attached to the to the rear wall. Oops. So now we break everything. And we will be good to go. So yeah, again we have this thin part left over. So I'm going to glue it back once again. Just give me a second to remove it. 
variables. So check the control column. It seems to be nice. And I just wonder what happened because, as you can see, one uh, some of the pins left in the in the rear wall. <laughs> That's quite surprising. So now we are going to apply this glue and I need sharp tweezers. Okay. So glue it back into the place once again. We wait a bit to dry. And we also forgot about this, but I'm not going to paint it now because as you can see we don't have primer on air intake on the radiator, so basically paint won't stick and it will be quite an ugly result, so there is no point in applying airbrushing paint at the moment. Okay, now let's go. <clears throat> in the rear section of the seat. Now we do another thing that's to cut off the cockpit walls. So, cockpit walls were on this screw. Here it is. Now we will use the plastic saw in order to saw off these cockpit walls to clean them and then to paint the areas which are left from attachment points. Just give me a second. Be careful because this is a really thin part. So you won't have a second chance. And once you break it, you will have an ugly result. That's why I'm using the hobby knife most of the time. Not the knife, but the saw. Because hobby saw lets you have more precise cuts which are actually not damaging the part and as a result you get more accurate finish on your parts so now I'm going to use the sharp knife and with sharp knife I will be cleaning these areas which are left from attachment points okay here and as you can see, it's not me, it was broken like this. I'm not sure if it was broken when I was transporting spruce, but it is broken. So I will have to deal with it somehow. Maybe just to glue it afterwards, maybe to glue it now. But now I'm trying to clean everything from attachment points. We are going to scrape it off from here just to cut it. That's good to go. Now I will apply a bit of thin glue in order to secure this section in the place so that it won't 
jump back and forth. Let's put it aside so that part will dry. Close the glue. And now we sew off another part, which is here. Basically the same process. And again, you have to be careful. Don't put a lot of pressure. And again, as you can see here, part is broken. Again, we will need to use and another area is broken. That's not funny already. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we have broken section. We'll fix it in a second, but that's not cool. Okay. I was trying to be careful with this, but still we got such a result. So that's not such a good thing to have. I'm going to clean part first and then I will fix it because otherwise I will just break it once again and I don't want to do this so I'm going to carefully clean everything Oops, here and from another side as well Okay, you look good. Now we use again the extra thin glue. Don't be afraid that it will evaporate quickly. We need to prepare the part on one side. And then we just join the parts like this. We hold it a bit. And it should stay in place. But I would rather do it on horizontal surface. Let's try it like this. So what I'm going to do is to apply glue once again. Here, here and here. And we It's not funny. And now it's broken even more. Come on. That's not that cool. Okay, we do it in an easy way. We first touch this section, then we glue another section. So just give me a second. There's something new about the thin parts because before, I mean, I didn't need such stuff on Edward kits. And now you just break it off easily and you don't know what to do. Uh, I'm thinking about using CA glue just to have everything attached in place straight away. And not wasting time on this because otherwise it will be really ridiculous. So we just take the CA glue, apply a small portion on one of the ends. For example, this one here and here. Clean it. Then we glue everything back in place instantly without any problems. That's the magic of the super glue, of the CA glue. Call it what you want, but it still works. So here you can see it fixed. We will 
waiter paint everything again because obviously it's not the let's say appearance we would like to have here but first I would like to finish with this element as well so I apply a really tiny bit of blue here okay now it seems more intact just fix everything with straight tweezers why because they actually help you align parts properly without any extra hassle so here we have fixed wall it will be crazy to paint it straight away and by the way again small reminder don't forget to uh, switch the quality to the HD because otherwise you will have quite a video have some paint left Problem with is that you have to have a primer because otherwise paint won't stay in place and you will have really difficult time trying to paint everything and to have the right shape. Especially it's a problem with such smooth parts as a plastic from Edward so just keep it in mind don't go with let's say trying new things if it work or not I can say 100% that it won't work and you just waste your time trying to paint the part which doesn't want to be painted for example then we take the one which we fixed just a few seconds ago. Say glue does its magic, so everything looks more or less okay. I'll repaint it. Okay, another wall is ready. Then pocket floor looks more or less fine. And um, mm, mm, I see that nothing that should be better. So we have some paint left. I'll use it for the wall for the front wall. As you remember we have it here. I'm not painting edges because edges will be actually glued so there is no point in applying paint to the surface which will be covered with glue and now I'm taking the cockpit floor once again because we have a surface here once again just to be sure that everything is nice and good looking. Okay, copy four is ready. 
Now the pilot seat. And comes to an end. And another final code on the cockpit walls. Because I don't like that they're they look a bit light. So it's not a bad idea to apply a bit more paint. In order to have nice and unified appearance for these parts. for one skin but from the bottom. unit and from the other side Good. and what I might do yeah. actually that's pretty much all so we have all the cockpit parts painted I would like to repaint a bit the pilot seat but that's because I don't like the appearance, so that's why I'm doing the bit of touch up. Okay, looks fine. Now I place it like this, and that's pretty much all. So now we just empty the airbrush. I need the special bottle for this. I'm still two ways to get it. And that's why I end up with manual version of whole process, let's say. So now we just clean it. Again, spray it. I would like to spray all the paint, not the paint but the dust, because I will be storing parts in this box. So now we can add the paper, and water is over, so and ready to be assembled together. Obviously, it won't be done now because. Now everything should be dried a bit, but it will be done tomorrow in the evening. And now it will be a assembly with various other things. So I would like to thank you for joining today. Thank you for watching this build session as you can see we have cockpit parts ready 
here are the corporate walls. We also have fish ready. And tomorrow, I promised we will continue with solar so that we will do together the washing and also some drink to this cockpit. So that's all. For and I will see you tomorrow, as usual, in our daily reviews and also in live.